how you can screw up a chicken? Yeah, you know, even noobs, eh? noobs also they know how to cook a chicken. So, right now, guys, we are going to do chicken shawarma. I'm using the fillet part of the breast, which is very, very tender. It's called chicken tender. Lah. Actually, this one you need to marinate overnight, okay? But just for the sake of showing you, alright, we have some yogurt. You need to have the, those thick yogurt, you can see here. And then I put this masala, which is the kebab masala. You all can also get it from any Indian market. Mix it up. If, let's say, you marinate this overnight, right, the yogurt will tenderize even further the chicken tenders. Give it a bit of salt. Garlic ginger paste. Very, very important, okay? Lucky as well. Either you all can put it inside your air fryer or your uh, oven, okay? But for me, I would love to have that char, right? The extra caramelization or melt reaction to it, okay? So that's why I am using the cast iron pan to get that really robust blackness. But mostly, uh, how you can screw up a chicken? Yeah? You know? Even noobs, uh, noobs also, they know how to cook a chicken. So, why I love uh, chicken tenders uh, is because you can just Pull it apart like that. So you can poke it apart. You can see how juicy the chicken tenders are. Fries have been fried, uh, and then I dust it with some salt and the kebab masala. Once our things are ready, okay, it's time to assemble the shawarma wrap or shawarma roll. And we got to pan fry it. Yogurt, just a bit of a bit of lemon juice, pepper. Chili flakes, a bit of salt, tortilla skin or tortilla wraps. Heat up a bit, okay, to make it a bit more pliable. Okay, so as the tortilla wrap is a bit small, so I used two to put it side by side for it to have a larger surface area so that I can wrap it with. Okay, the yogurt mixture just now. I have some hummus here. Then mix it up together with the yogurt. Just like that. You just tear it up a bit. Here and there. Some iceberg lettuce. Alright, so to make it a bit of my own twist, I put in some arugula or rocket salad. Okay, then the chicken. Sriracha. Menis. And let's pan fry this bad boy. Okay, make sure you pan fry the crease first, right? So that it would harden there. Okay, so why you put it the crease side down first? Because you want the crease to be hardened so that you close up the shawarma wrap itself. Okay, all four sides. Okay, you can see the inside. This, I think it's a very, very easy, easy recipe for you to make at home. So the best part of any cooking show is to eat your creation. Now dig in. Medium Eastern food, very clean. So that's why I incorporate the uh, cheese, uh, sriracha sauce, you know, to lift up the taste element of the shawarma.